Hey, what's going on guys? Gone in 60 here, back at it with another video. Uh, today I'm gonna be covering some features on the Uconnect system that maybe you guys didn't know existed and they might be useful to you guys next time you turn on your car, might be very helpful. So I'm gonna be covering three things that maybe you didn't know your Uconnect system could actually do. So thanks for tuning in guys. Thanks for all the support on the channel. If you're new to watching my videos, hit that subscribe button. I try and upload videos at least once every other day. Um, and I'm trying to just get as many out there as I can. So make sure and subscribe. Um, if you like today's video, please drop it a like. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you have any other features that maybe you don't think um, I highlighted that maybe people aren't aware of that the Uconnect system can do, uh, drop a comment down below. would love to hear the feedback and uh, we'll get in with uh, what I wanna share with you guys today. So the first thing that I want to be able to show you guys um, under settings, I watch a lot of different YouTube videos. I've seen a lot of people drive around in their cars, do um, you know different videos on on um, you know racing or whatever it might be, and I always notice that almost everybody has the exact same display background on their car. And one of the things that I don't think maybe people don't know about, or maybe people just don't use it or see value in it, but one of the things I think is actually really cool is you guys can actually change up the background display um, on your car, on your Uconnect system. So how you're able to access it, the car either needs to be running um, or it needs to be in run mode, and you can't be moving down the road while you're doing this, you have to be stopped. So what you do is you go into settings, display, and under here, under set theme, they have like 13 pre-selected themes. This is the one that I like, it has the challenger there, but I'm just gonna cruise through these really quick. Um, and they're actually really cool. So obviously you have kind of the drag setup. Um, the second one is just kind of more the standard. This is what I see a lot of people use and notice it changes the icons down here as we kind of go through the different settings. Uh, the third one I think is really common, really standard. This is probably the one I see most people use. Um, and as we kind of go down through it, you can see, hey, this is more standardized for the Hellcat. And I love it, but I don't feel like I can use that because I don't have a Hellcat, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, the fifth one, just kind of some gears and techs and gadgets there. Um, yeah, the Demon, which is awesome, but don't have a Demon. Um, this is the one I'm currently using. I think it's actually really cool, kind of the red background. So it shows kind of as I'm having my music on there. Um, the eighth one, another standard one I see a lot of people use. Um, ninth one, same, tenth, uh, back to kind of the Hellcat theme. But as you guys can see, I, I don't think a lot of people really pay much attention to this. I actually think it's really cool that Dodge allows you to be able to customize this. So that is the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Notice it does change the settings down here, kind of on the little icons and what it looks like. So just depending on your preference, I actually think this is a cool setup um, that you can do. I wish you could actually maybe upload photo or something to kind of have as the background, but uh, maybe that's in a future model. But that's the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys. The second thing that I wanna be able to show you guys that I think is actually really cool that Dodge has done here with their Uconnect system is these are not set in stone of what you want. So the settings, you know, that are down there, whether it's radio, climate, whatever, you can actually adjust them and it's actually really easy to do. So say I wanted to have my SRT mode down here. I actually have, have put my driver's heated seat down so I can just punch it and then I'm in there. I don't have to go to controls and say, okay, heated seat, put it on. It's just literally, it's just literally right there. So um, just kind of going back to some of the settings here. So if you wanted to say, for example, put the SRT mode down there, all you do is select it, kind of hold it for a second. And then I literally could put it right there 
and then you notice my driver seat is gone. So I think that's actually really cool that you're able to do that. You know, if you wanted Wi-Fi hotspot down there, maybe you wanted your performance pages so that way it's just kind of quicker to get down there. You know, I could just maybe put it over there where the controls go and there's my performance pages. So it's actually very customizable and I think Dodge did an awesome job with this. So guys, don't be just stuck on the settings that are there. You know, if you like using your heated seat in the winter time, I'd recommend having it down there. If you use your SRT mode, obviously, yeah, you can get to it down here by just kind of double clicking on that. But if it's easier, more convenient for you to have it up here, that's what I would do is I would, I would drag and drop this and put it to what you guys like. So that is another thing that I don't think a lot of people know is you actually can drag and move those around. And I think it's actually very helpful um, and easy to do. All right, so last thing I wanna show you guys is um, something that I kind of discovered that I personally like. I don't know if you guys have ever, you know, been in a parking lot and you wondered if you're, you left a light on or whatever and it takes a while. I actually like coming up here to the engine off options and I like to change my headlight off delay. Um, I think this was standard set at like 90 seconds, which is a long period of time. I don't want it really pulling power from the battery. And so there you can actually uh, determine how long your headlights are on or off for it, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and then as one other bonus item that I just wanna share with you guys is actually a comfort setting um, on the car. Auto comfort on, um, when you turn this on, uh, within vehicle start, you can actually set this up so where your uh, heated steering wheel comes on as well as your heated seats. So I think something like that for like the winter time is extremely nice to have and it's a setting that you guys can adjust. So I hope you guys like kind of these few tips on the different settings with the Uconnect screen. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's video and uh, I appreciate you guys watching the channel.